oh my gosh, this woman is amazing. No, not me, a lady I've just seen on YouTube. I can't remember her name, but I will find it and I'll link it here. She showed how to make these die cuts out of um, kitchen roll. Look, I'm, I'm just in shock. I'm so, so excited. I didn't even watch all her video because I went, I just wanted to go and make some. So I'm using a new trio. I've got a feeling this is going to come out before that trio is launched on TV on the 24th of October. Um, so there's a little sneak there. I'm using the Tailored Expressions Sentiment, the beautiful Chevron Knit Pattern Builder Stamp, and then this fantastic leaf die from Julie Hickey Designs. And then, of course, a piece of kitchen roll. I'm sure this is probably an old technique. Maybe she has come up with it. If she has, then she is a genius. But, you know... Who knows? I don't know. But I'm going to tag her and let people go see her because I thought it was just absolutely fantastic. OK, so I've got myself set up with my Misty. I'm putting my folded card in the Misty. I was going to use the big pattern and then I just love those um, chevrons in the different thicknesses up the top. So I thought, hey, let's go for that. So I'm just going to put those on. So there we go, they're all lined up, ready to go. And now I'm going to get my ink that I'm going to use for this. Um, obviously it's going to be Catherine Paula ink because I love her inks. And obviously it's going to be Hot Tub because I love Hot Tub. It's such a beautiful colour. Um, anyway, so I'm just peeling that back. I'm going to ink it up. Now, depending on how, you, um, how much pressure you apply, etc., depends how... Um, dark the ink's gonna come out so at first I thought oh I'm putting quite a bit on here so I might actually just try and take a bit off with some paper sensible it's a bit like second generation stamping but then I probably went a bit too heavy <laughs> with my hand on the paper but then this is where the misty comes into its own because I've made sure that's right in the corner I place it down, start pressing it down, I get me a little chucky thing that I made just to apply better pressure, especially when you're doing something um, all over like this. And then I lift it up and I go, oh, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> I took far too much off. So do you know what? You just go ahead and do it again. It just gives me another excuse to use this beautiful ink colour. I love it. And also I found a little bit of stuff on the stamp, so I was able to clean that off as well. So back to square one, just inking it up and pressing it back down again. Make sure, again, always make sure that it's in exactly the same place and then you can't go wrong. I don't know why I doubted this colour because I just, I love it. I just thought maybe I'd go for something like really, really light. But look at that. It's just so beautiful. And it also, it will dry a bit lighter as well because it sinks into the cardstock, this ink. And then it will go a little bit lighter. So I'm looking at, like, at these leaves that I'd made earlier. I'm going to show you how to make them. Um, and just, just making sure that they're going to, fit on the card all right then I thought to myself oh do you know what I could realign it and then do extra ones in there I'd like to join the pattern up do it with a different color and I thought no no stick to what you got um because this as much as I love that stamp set <laughs> it's brilliant um I wanted to show you this what this Anne as, as shown people so you take a piece of kitchen roll this is a big piece of kitchen roll I must admit it's quite a, a big roll um, you fold it over fold it in half then fold it in half again and then in half again so basically you're going to have eight layers don't worry about the pattern um, something funny happens in a minute I'm just placing Julie's die straight on it I'm just picking it up Popping it in my Sizzix, my fold away. This has got really good pressure, this fold away machine. I really, really like it. 
So I'm just going to run that through. And I don't know if you can tell already, but it's flattened the tissue. Okay, it's already gone flat. Um, but also what's quite interesting as well is it picks up the patterns that were in my... Yeah, look, see that? <laughs> they were the patterns that were on my um, plastic bit there, um, which was quite interesting. Um, but anyway, so I go ahead and I'm just going to do three of those. So I'm just going to fast forward on this bit. And there we have them. And then, so from the Dee's Delights, I'm going to be using Lime Crush and Blueberry Pie. And the other one in there is Raspberry Cream. And these are really, really special. Um, they're just beautiful, beautiful embossing powders. Um, so like how I do all my embossing on anything, I use a brayer. Um, these need a really good shake because there's extra bits in there. Um, extra sort of light sparkly bits so I'm taking my bray out now like I said I didn't even see what this Anne did in her video I will have to go back and watch it fully um, because I just got really excited so I, I, I don't know whether she's embossed us they looked a bit um, glossy at the beginning so she may have embossed them she may have put glossy accents on I don't know um, but I wanted to emboss these obviously so I'm just gonna go um, the lime crush at the bottom and then I'm just gonna pick those up shake off all that excess so just give it a nice gentle little tap and then I want to pop that back in the pot they're really really gorgeous these powders like I say they've got extra bits in there so it just it adds that little extra something they're really nice you can just see all the little sparkly bits that are in there they're like chunky diamante sort of bits <laughs> but not diamantes obviously um so anyway so I've gone in then with blueberry pie over the top on the top half so again just shake off the excess and then I'll pop that back in the pot, ready to heat. I just want to try so many things. It's like I've got so many ideas now with this. I can't believe like the 30, 40 years, 40 years I think, is it? Yeah, 40 years I've been doing embossing and been in this craft industry and I've never seen this technique unless I have and I've just totally forgotten about it. <laughs> I thought it was genius, I really did. Anyway, so I'm going to heat set this now. So if the leaves are spinning around, just hold it down. Just give it a little anchor down. I'm just using a palette knife. So just go along. And they and they heat set beautifully. I was a bit concerned. I was thinking, like, is the brayer going to pull the layers off? Um, is the heat going to be too much for it? But it wasn't. It just, it just works so perfectly. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to be brave and try it with something really um, fiddly later. I might try a snowflake and see what that comes out like. Anyway, back to the card. Um, so I've got my background. The inks have dried lighter. Oh god, I just love that. Um, and then I'm just going to stick these down. So I'm using my lovely Eyecraft um, Ultra Bond adhesive in my precision um, pot, tub, I don't know, needle tip precision doodah thing. I um, <laughs> don't know what they're called, but just do loads of little dots all over and then I'll come back when they're stuck down. Okay, so they're all stuck down nice and flat to the card. And then I've gone ahead, like I mentioned earlier, I've used the Tailored Expressions stamp um, with their matching dye, um, Sentiment Strips dye, I think it's called. Um, just fantastic because you can just get so many in one go. So I tend to just do them in a few different colours or emboss them um, and then I have them all sitting there ready to go when I want to do something really quick like this because I shouldn't actually be doing a video right at this moment um, but I am so I'm just going to put some foam pads on there just to raise it up slightly oh, I just, you know when you just do something and you love it I just love it 
Um, so thank you Anne for showing us this and thank you if someone showed you it but basically thanks for sharing and that's, do you know what, that's what YouTube is all about it's just lovely to share things with each other so I just love this there we go all done, so thanks ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it go get some kitchen roll and have a really good play thanks a lot, bye